was the law, you soggy noodles. How the hell are ya? So then, if you are watching this, you are either incredibly bored or, fairly new to Warframe and don't have a clue as to what the hell is even going on. Do not worry, I gotcha. When you first start out with Warframe you are presented with 3 starting Warframes to choose from. Mag, Volt and Excalibur. So naturally you are probably asking yourself, which is the best choice? Now before we dive into it, allow me to point out that this is not going to be a guide on how to use each of these frames. I already have full guides with detailed tips and tricks available for you punks and I will have them presented at the end of the video. The next thing you should bear in mind about Warframe is that there is no such thing as the best whatever the hell. Literally every single Warframe available is endgame viable. It all boils down to your personal play style, skill, determination and noob friendliness. In order to allow you to make an educated decision which of these three frames you want to choose first, allow me to categorize them as follows. Acquisition. Strengths and weaknesses. Play difficulty and some other shit. Let's start with mag because ladies first. Acquisition. As with everything in Warframe, you have two options when trying to obtain new items. 1. You can buy them or 2. You can farm for them. Mag, I would not recommend buying with Platinum because she is easy enough to farm for and secondly because your broke new bass will not have the cash to pay for her anyway. In any case she is available for 75 Platinum in the Warframe market. Same as the other two douchebags. You can and probably should farm her from the boss on Phobos, the sergeant. This is a fairly low level boss and you should not have any trouble farming for Magda if you do not choose her as a starter. Strengths and Weaknesses Maggie is a very useful frame. She is well equipped to annihilate hordes of enemies or deal with the toughest bosses as if they were flies. As a solo player or a team supporter, Mag will allow you to get the job done. However, Maggie is also notorious for being squishy as hell. In order to stay alive, you will need to move around a lot and spam a lot of buttons in quick succession which makes her a highly engaging warframe. So not necessarily the best situation for a total greenhorn like yourself. Furthermore, when playing Mag, you will need a few basic modifications that will only be effective if they are maxed or at least close to max rank which will pose an issue for many new players since you will start off piss poor. Now I know that may sound daunting but, you needn't worry. As you become a better player and accustomed to how to move and comfortably use Maggie's abilities, you will find that you are much harder to kill than I'm making it sound. Thing is, if you play like a rhino, you die. Use your head a little bit and you will dominate everything. But that goes for all Warframes really. Difficulty as mentioned, Mag is a highly engaging Warframe. The more comfortable you are with stress and quick reaction, the better you will be able to play Mag. Her modifications can be used in a versatile way so there are quite a few options there for you. However it will take you many hours of practice and patience to fully master this frame. But when you do, the reward will be more than worth it. I'd say Mag is the perfect frame for those of you who are ready to invest in the game and are not afraid of challenge followed by absolute domination. Let's move on to Zappy Boy aka Volt. Acquisition You can obtain Volt easily by joining a clan, visiting the clan dojo's Tenno lab. There, you will find all blueprints required to build Volt. Or, if you are a masochist, you can also acquire a fully built vault from Teshin at any relay. Teshin is the Conclave master to the Tenno and Conclave is Warframe's PvP game mode that nobody plays because it sucks ass. On top of that you will need to reach max rank there and I can assure you, you will lose your marbles while attempting to do so. But hey, it's your life so waste it however you please. Strengths and Weaknesses Volt is a highly diverse Warframe that you can modify into almost any critical specialization that you need. He can be a crowd controller or a horde killer depending on how you wish to use him. Due to the nature of his abilities, Volt is not quite as difficult to master as Mag is. So a little less engaging. Thanks to his second ability, 
which lays down an impenetrable shield, you even have the option to take a breather in the heat of combat. However, just like Mag, Volt is also very squishy. If you stop moving at higher levels or forget to use your shield and or other abilities for a moment, you will die. Being a highly diverse frame also entails a vast range of modifications that will take your newbie's time to acquire and max out in order to use his wide range of expertise. This Warframe will promote gunplay a little more than others do to the benefits of his shield when fired through it. When playing Volt at first, he will not seem like he is as endgame viable as Mag, but the more tips and tricks you learn about him, the more you will come to realize that nothing could be further from the truth. Difficulty Being a squishy Warframe with abilities that can stop you from taking harm, Volt is fairly easy to master. Easier than Mag, but more difficult than Excalibur. In my humble opinion, Volt is perfect for players that wish to take their time in battle and figure out what the hell is going on before engaging head-on. Snipers or otherwise long-distance warriors will also likely appreciate Volt as a starter frame. However, you will need to be cautious of your surroundings at all times cause if you allow enemies to flank you while chilling behind your shield, you will die in an instant. Moving on. Excalibur, Warframe's Poster Boy Acquisition You can either get this Warframe from Tushin, just like Volt. Or, you can farm him from Lekryl, the boss on Mars. Between Mag's boss and this one, Lekryl is definitely the more annoying boss to farm parts from. So farming will take you quite a while and probably piss you off while doing so. So if you do not want to deal with that, you may want to choose Excalibur as your starter. Strengths and Weaknesses Excalibur is pretty tanky compared to the other starter frames. Therefore, he is the most forgiving when it comes to taking damage. Also unlike the other two, this frame will promote melee combat more than gunplay due to the nature of his abilities. Which will help you out in endgame since melee is a very powerful alternative. The greatest flaw about this Warframe is the fact that he has no real defenses but at the same time takes more damage than the other two frames. Which can lead players to believe mobility is not needed. Sure you can blind enemies and negate incoming damage and all that good stuff but that is not 100% reliable. But more on that in my detailed Excalibur guide. On top of that, Excalibur's best ability by far is his ultimate Bankai which will also brainwash many new players into becoming press for brain dead zombies. Which can in many cases ruin your experience with many other frames and also cause you to hinder yourself from being a decent overall player in the future. Difficulty Excalibur is probably the easiest of all the starter frames to master. His abilities are not complex enough to cause confusion. Modifications for an effective Excalibur are also limited so you will not have much difficulty matting him in a decent way. So before we reach a conclusion, let's quickly summarize. Mag, the Glass Thanos. Difficult to master, squishy but can and will lay waste to any boss and large groups of high-level enemies. In the right hands, Mag will dominate everything far into endgame. Volt, the shocking all-rounder the middle ground when it comes to mastering him. The longer you play, the more mobs you acquire over time, the more diversity and lethality you will unlock. Not great against bosses but good at killing hordes of anything on the star chart. Excalibur, the Bankai Freakazoid. The most durable of the three starting frames but also most boring in terms of abilities and diverse gameplay. Great against lined up hordes and less mobile bosses. So then, if you could only use one of these three frames to complete the entire star chart, which should you choose? Well, to be fair, if you only want one frame that will take you through the entire game and way into endgame then I must say mag. However, the learning curve is fairly steep. But the best starting frame just to introduce you to the game until you are ready for the next level, I will have to go with stinking Excalibur. Bear in mind. Every single Warframe is capable of dominating the entire star chart, if played correctly. 
regardless of your choice, nothing is set in stone and you can always acquire any other Warframe at any point. You can and absolutely should strive to acquire them all and give them a chance. Surely, out of all the available Warframes, you will find the one perfect for you. Now then, enough of this bibble babble. It is time to like and subscribe to this shitty channel and fuck off.